Well, this is a bit different from what I've been posting lately. Uh, we've got an old, beat up, scrap salvage, basically PC. Uh, I think it's from considering Focus Windows XP Home, you know, probably 2002. Uh, I don't know if it works. Uh, I've got, I thought I'd just record building it, see what we can do. I've got us some spare parts here. I've got big bear for art, so get that authentic. I've got what they're called now, CRT. Uh, it's not even a flat screen, this is pretty crap actually, but anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so what I thought we'd do is have a look inside, see what we've got, get it stripped down, put it back together, see if it turns on. And then when it does turn on, we'll see what it can run. I've got quite a few graphics cards, so I'll have to see what we've got in there. But first things first, I think it's time for a clean. Now, I am going to over it out, uh, considering, you know, it's probably worth nothing. It probably costs money to get rid of it, to be fair. Uh, I don't think it's really good of my... I can't be bothered to strip it down and use waste money, basically, on some compressed air. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to get a good old movie treatment. Don't recommend doing this to your decent computers. But if it's just like this, you know, what we've got to lose. So, got rid of some of the cables. Your standard IDE cables, your floppy drive. Uh, Ultra ATA 100, so they are the uh, the good ones if you want to put a new hard drive in your original Xbox. Uh, inside, there's not much going off here really. We've got this looks like a network card. Yeah, if AGP port, three PCIs, uh, standard. PC can fan, don't know what processor is yet. I know it's an Intel, apparently so. Uh, two sticks of DDR RAM, again, unknown of the speed. So let's have a, let's have a look, see what we got. We've got a double sided, oh, it's your tight. Could have been in there a while. Again, computer is old, not bothered about getting it a little shock. We've got 512, Samsung PC3200. I'm assuming this will be 256. Yep, 256. Massive 133 megahertz. Epic. I also got two DVD. Well, actually. Oh, yeah. DVD, compact disc, rewriter, and floppy disk. Power supply. Some special. What we got here? Massive 250 watt. So, I look what goodies we've got in my bag. A little bag of, bag of bits here. Yeah. I'm sure I've got a, what's this one? Old sapphire cards. 9550. Oh. 128 meg. I don't think she's going to fit in there, puppet. We'll have to have a look, see what we got. I'll do a bit of research on what kind of motherboard this is. Uh, it should help us then see what graphics card we need. Uh, looks like it's probably going to be a Pentium 4. Uh, AGP 4 slot. Uh, 2 gig of RAM. I see we've got quite a few sticks of RAM out, so I'll see what we can do. Also, I've got a few different graphics cards. They're all just old, not really worth anything. Uh, see what we what we can do here. Uh, what else we got? I think that's all I really need to know from this. Very good. Yeah, it's a gigabyte anyway. So, let's see what we've got four time AGP on here. I do know uh, from back in the day that if you used an eight times so if you put a four time AGP card in an eight time slot, they can go bang. Uh, but I'm gonna just quickly research, make sure these some of these AGP slots are, are compatible with this. Because uh, you know, even though they're old, I do use them just for stuff like this messing about. Uh, but I'll see what I can do, we'll get the powerfulest card in we can. And then hopefully see if we can just run YouTube, uh, maybe 720p, but we'll have to see. Uh, 
I know I'm going to have issues recording off of this, so I have got an older, just LCD, uh, VGA uh, monitor. Uh, but if not, I'll have to see what I can do getting it hooked up to my normal monitor. Two minutes. Uh, got this bad boy. I think this is the most powerful one I've got here. It's also an ATI. Uh, what is it? Radeon 9550, 128 meg. Uh, it's an eight times slot, eight times AGP, uh, but it should work in its four times AGP slot. Considering the rest of the system works, I mean, we've got another power supply just in case. We have got an R drive because there's no R drive inside there. Uh, DVD drives, I'm just going to need one uh, just to get XP on it. Uh, processor, I think what we'll do now is actually, I weren't going to take it off, but we might as well just take the CPU cooler off. Uh, I've got some cheap thermal paste because I'm probably going to guess that this has never been changed. Uh, so we'll have a look what CPU it is as well. Gets paste changed, uh, get it all put back together, get it all plugged in, see if she turns on. Right, now I've got something jerry rigged for the camera. Uh have a look what's inside this puppy. Let's have a look. Little clips. That's one. That's two. Might have to crack this off. This one come? Yep. Good sets. It's pretty dry. Uh let's have a look what we got. Oh, that's an old one. Right, let's go and get some something to clean this off with. Well, considering kids are pretty old now, so we'll keep buying these baby wipes. Again, this is a system that I, I care all about. It's just going to be quick and dirty. Oh, quick and clean. Uh, let's have a look. I can see something coming through the fog. That's uh see if it'll focus as somebody would say focus you fuck oh we got 2002 I'm sure I said that earlier uh, yeah 2.2 it's not a penny and four it's Intel Celeron it's like even more worse than what it could be so let's have a look what we got put this back in Triangle to the top. Probably bent some pins. No, just back in. Let's pull this out. Get this. Don't do that bad once you've focus. Don't do that bad once you've uh, cleaned the crap off. Size block aluminium. Shame I've got no gallium. All right. Let's have a look in the tin. Like I said, can't be good paste. Normally I used to fight this, uh, but it's getting the best of the best. Right. Little P in the middle, or it's blasted on. I'm sure it's not going to matter too much. Let's squeeze it back on. Awesome retaining clips. Never a pain in the ass to get on these. Ever. I suppose I could use a screwdriver, break the motherboard in half, all that good stuff. Alright, she's back in, put the fan back in. Alright, now that's back together. A quick check. Clean side, let's get our wipe. AGP port's never been new. What is going off with this battery? Oh, she might be dead. She might be a deader. Oh, looks like he's had his arse blown out of it. 
Oh, I don't think this one's coming back together. Let's have a look. Yeah. CMOS as well. Uh, well, should we do? We've got on board video. We'll probably do. We'll just get it plugged in. Plug it into Big Bear for uh, socket over there. We'll power on. We'll see what's what. So, as you can see, we've got it on the floor. Uh, I'm not bothered about doing this on the table. I just jerry rig this up quickly. There's nothing plugged in. I'm just going to shove one stick of that single side, 256 mega RAM, uh, which is this one. It'll go in. So, I'll doll it up. So, turn the switch on. I've got my poking device to make sure it doesn't kill me and uh, see if we get any more magic smoke. Buzz of the monitor. Right, uh, there's no battery in this, took the CMOS battery out. Oh, there we are. It's powered on. Didn't get any posts though. I don't think we are. Cables in. Yes. I think she might be dead. Might try. A crap graphics card. Uh, see if we get anything from that. Switch on. Magic smoke doesn't appear. Power on. I love it. She's dead. Well, I think that's the end of that video.